Hola, ¿cómo están? Hoy nosotros estamos trabajando sobre palabras y oraciones y las partes de las oraciones. So I said, hello, how are you guys? Today we're going to be working on word sentences and the parts of sentences. Empecimos, which means let's start. Okay. All right. All right. Sentir. Clase. Quien sabe que esto significa, which means who knows what this means. Yeah, I do. It means to feel. Si sí, bien, yes, good. Sentir means to feel. Sentir. To feel. Okay, let me try to use that in a sentence. Uh, ellos sentir. To this day, después, mirad. El, or, el, la triste película. So that means they feel sad after watching the sad movie. Ellos. Sentir to this day. Después. Mirad la triste Pelicula means they felt, feel sad after watching the sad movie. Okay, let me try to do the words for that. Eos means they, eos they. Sentir means feel, sentir feel. Today's day means sad, today's day sad. Después means after, después after. Mirad means watching, mirad watching. La means the, la, the, it's in feminine form, so the word it's describing is also in feminine form. To this day means sad, to this day sad. Pelicula means movie, pelicula movie, so. Eos sentir triste después mirad la tres de pelicula means they feel sad after watching the sad movie. Okay. Yegia. Classe. Quien sabe que es the significa, which means who knows what this means. Yeah, I do. It means God. Si sí, bien. Yes, good. Okay. Yegia means God. Yegia, God. All right. Let me try to use that in a sentence. Uh, Ultima Año Ea uh, 
ये गिया उन नुएवो कोचे व्हिच मींस लास्ट uh, last year she got a new car. All right, let me try to go over the parts. Ultimo means last. Ultimo last is in the masculine form, so the word it's describing is also going to be in masculine form. Año means year. Año year. Ea means she. Ea she. Yegia means got. Yegia got. Un means a, un a. It's in masculine form, so the word it's describing, it's going to be in masculine form. Nuevo means new, nuevo, new. Coche means car, coche, car. Uh, yeah, okay. Ultimo año, ella llegía un nuevo. Coche means last year she got a new car. Okay. All right. Terminaramos. Class A, can can I introduce that as that which means who wants to translate this? Yeah, I do. It means we finished. C si bien, yes, good. All right, let's go with the parts. I mean, <laughs> the parts. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to do a sentence for him. Ter terminaram terminaramos means we finished. Terminaramos means we finished. Okay. And I'm going to do a sentence. Terminaramos el trabajo And says messes. So that means we finished the job in uh, in uh, six months. All right, let's. I'm gonna go over the parts of it now. Terminamos or terminamos means we finished. Terminar almost means we finished. L means the. El the it's in masculine form, so the word it's describing is also in masculine form. It's uh, yeah. Trabajo means job. Trabajo job. N means in and in. Seis means six. Seis six. Meses means months. Meses months. So terminar almost. El trabajo en seis meses means we finish the job in six months. All right. All right. Vacío. Class A, can I introduce it as that, which means who wants to translate this? Yeah, I do. It means uh, empty or hollow. Si sí, bien, yes, good. Eso es correcto, that is correct, bien, good. All right, uh, all right, let me try to use that as a sentence. Vacio means empty or hollow. Vacio, empty or hollow. Hmm. Hold on. All right, uh, let me see here. Mm. Just trying to think of a sentence quick.
Hold on, just a sec. Okay, just uh, all right. What was I gonna? All right, I think I got it. All right. El Dormitario Fu Vasio A la A las Dias de la noche so that means the uh, room was empty at 10 o'clock at night all right let me try to go over the parts now L means the L the dorma is in masculine form so the word it's describing is also in masculine form dormitario means uh, like room dormitario room fu means was fu was Vacio means empty, vacio empty, a loss means at, a loss at, dies means ten, dies ten, de la noche means at night, de la noche at night, it's in, it's in uh, feminine forms, that's why it uses la, okay, so I said, uh, el dormitario, fu vacio, a las diez de la noche means uh, the room was empty at 10 o'clock at night. Okay. All right. Sombres. Clase quien sabe que esta significa, which means who knows what this means. Yeah. I do. It means shadows. Si, sí, bien. Yes, good. All right. Let's go over. Let me try to make a sense of it. Sombre de El Arbol Mueve Durante El Dia. So that means the shadow of the tree moves during the day. Okay, let, let me go over the parts. El means the, El the, it's in masculine form, so. So is the word it's describing here. Okay, sombre means shadow, sombre shadow. Day means of, day of. L means the, el the. Uh, it's in masculine form, so so is the word it's describing. Okay, artable means tree, artable tree. Mueve means moves, mueve moves. Durante means during, durante, during. L means the, L the, it's in masculine form, so the word it's describing is also in masculine form. Dia means day, dia day. Okay. El sombre mueve durante del dia means, oh wait, wait, I don't think I said that right. El sombre del arbol mueve durante el dia. So that means the shadow of the tree moves during the day. Okay. All right, let me try to do some sentences now. These are from a song called, um, what's the song? I mean, uh, it, it's a heartbreak anthem by, uh, by, uh, by, uh, by, uh, It starts with a, by David Guetta. 
and uh, Lil Mix. Okay, let's go and just using it for sentences to translate, sort of. Okay, no means no, no, oh, all right, no tengo tiempo para pensar en eso clase quien quiere a traducer de esta, which means who wants to translate this? Yeah, I do. It means no, I do not have time to dwell on it. See, si, bien, yes, good. All right, let's go over the parts. No means no, no, no. Okay, it's it's uh saying it more than one times to like sort of like do emphasis, I guess. Okay, tengo means I have. Tengo means I have. Tiempo means time. Tiempo time. Peda means in order to. Peda in order to. Piensar means dwell. Piensar dwell. N means on and on. S so means it, as so it, so no, no, tengo, no, no, tengo tiempo para pensar it, and as so means, no, I don't have time to dwell on it. Y no quiero sentir, no quiero sentirme vacío, clase, quien sabe que esta significa, which means, who knows what this means? Yeah, I do. It means... I do not want to feel, I do not want to feel hollow. Si bien, yes, good. Alright, let's go over the parts. Yo means and, yo and. No means no, no, no. Quiero means I want, quiero, I want. Sentir means to feel, sentir, feel. No, again, means no, no, no. Quiero means I want. Quiero I want. Sentir me means to feel. Like for me to feel, I guess. Sentir me for me to feel. Vacío means hollow. Vacío hollow. So, yo no quiero sentir. No quiero sentir me. Vacío means I don't want to feel. I don't want to feel hollow. Okay. Alright, perseguendo a ti a mi perseguendo todas estas hombres, clase quien sabe que esta significa, which means who knows what this means. Yeah, I do, it means chasing after, chasing you and me, chasing all these shadows. Si, sí, bien, yes, good. As so is correcto, that is correct, bien, good, bien, good. All right, let's go over the parts. Perseguendo means chasing you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Chasing, perseguendo means chasing you. A means at, a at, T means you, T U, E means and, E and. A means at, A at, B means B, B, B. Perseguendo means Chasing, perseguendo, chasing. Todas means all, todas all. It's in feminine form, so so is this word. It's describing, they gotta match in form. Well, I guess I figured out that this is a feminine word. I don't remember if, I, yeah, well, I, I'm figuring it out now. Okay. Todas means all, todas all. Yeah, also in plural form, just like this, they got a match. Okay, estas means these, estas these, sombres, also in feminine form. Okay, sombres means shadows, sombres shadows. Okay, perseguendo, a t a mi perseguendo, perseguendo, a t a mi perseguendo, todos estas sombres means chasing you and me, chasing. All of these shadows. Okay. Eso es todo el tiempo que tenemos para hoy, which means that is all the time that we have for today. Esperanza nosotros ha perdido mucho, which means I hope that we learned a lot. Tienen un bien día, which means have a good day. Adios, which means goodbye. Adios, goodbye. All right, bye.